Hi everyone, um, I'm Laura from moviecom.tv. Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about how online video can fit in with your social media strategy. Online video is one of the most engaging forms of social media. It means that you're right in the room with that person that you're talking to and want to get your message across to. The business benefit of online video is that it can actually increase conversion rates by up to 400% and can increase user engagement by up to 40%. Moviecom.tv is an online video platform. Um, our objective is about building a community for businesses to engage using online video. As part of our social media strategy, we've used a combination of professionally generated content and user generated content. We work with 29 studios who are a professional production company, so we've had that luxury of being able to do that. But our focus on Moviecom is about user generated content, about making it really simple for companies to get video onto the web. Um, and we've developed an app that actually does that. The interesting point is that whilst we've had some great professional content, it can actually be the user generated content that gets you the best results. Um, and we've really learned that through the results that we've had, the analytics that we've had. User generated content can be video blogs, can be customer testimonials, can be the interesting stuff that happens in your company. Some of the most, the best well-received videos that we've actually had are company lunches and the content that really brings personality to your brand and lets people see what's at the heart of your company. Good video is extremely shareable um, and it gets your message out en masse to a large group of people. You can share it across all your networks, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. Um, so instantly you can reach, say, 1,500 people in a couple of minutes. Um, it saves a lot of time and money in terms of actually going to face-to-face -face meetings, whether that's sales, whether that's training um, or recruitment. I want to mention a couple of quite well-known campaigns and how we can actually apply those messages to a small business mentality. Gary V, um, who I'm sure a lot of you know, especially Peter, is a very well-known wine blogger. He took wine blogging um, to another level by removing a lot of the snobbery from it, making it just a flip cam and YouTube and uploading that content. Through a period of um, really driving that video content over six months, he started to build a following, which in turn took his uh, parents' wine business from 4 million to 45 million. Um, it, he was really a pioneer for video blogging and some of those lessons we can apply to small business. Another campaign I want to mention is um, Isaiah Mustafa, who was the spokesperson for the Old Spice campaign. They did a combination of professional videos that were um, usually about 17 seconds long, spread them across YouTube, spread them across the web, um, and then responded with personal videos that were responses from people coming from social networks. Using this personalisation, they grew the campaign, celebrities got involved, um, and they ended up with 236 million YouTube views, 80,000 Twitter followers in 48 hours, which in turn grew the sales 107%. Um, the only thing they didn't do was actually keep managing the community, and that really did fall down after a couple of months, but they've picked that up now with uh, Fabio coming on board. We don't have the budgets that Old Spice had, um, so we want to take a couple of the lessons that you can apply from these campaigns and take that into a small business community. Keeping videos really short and snappy for online use, you want to keep that to about two minutes as your maximum, but generally 30 seconds keeps it small and easy for users to consume. Um, share your videos. You can use Tube Mogul, which will instantly get your video out to a large number of video platforms, 30 or 40. Um, and it aggregates the content for you, which is it's the time involved in doing that in a small business that can actually be the most challenging aspect. Um, make your content shareable so that others can share it and then that work is actually going to start a viral loop, which is generally what you want for a video. Target, target relevant industry influencers. If your content is relevant to someone specific in your field, then make that content relevant to them. If they think positively of it, they'll share it and again, you've got access to that network. Um, I just want to finish again on a couple of other tips that we can actually use. This is generally for user generated content as well. Publish regularly. People like to see fresh content. 
listen and react to what the users are actually saying about your videos. And if you can make it personal, then that's going to hold so much weight for you and, and keep the users engaged. Bring energy and passion to your content. That's something that will really shine through, especially in video, um, and keep people wanting more. Teach creatively. Showcase the way that you would like to be taught, especially if it's a product demonstration or some kind of ex um, content that's going to be educating your users. Think of the way you would like to learn and respond to that. Um, involve others. Involve experts in your field, your peers, people that you respect in your profession and boost their ego. Ask them to speak on your videos and then push that out to your networks. Engage with your viewers, keep talking to them, engage on their social networks and respond on the content that they put out and that will keep your traffic high. Always try and wow viewers with fresh and interesting content. Nobody likes stale news no matter what medium that's divulged in. Um, so try and be the first with any articles that you hear and comment on those. Always give users a call to action, give them a reason to pursue your content, whether that's a subscription, a contest, competition, whatever it is, give them a reason to come back and make your content shareable. Use catchy titles, read it, uh, readable text, and plenty of links, and that'll keep them coming back. Thanks.